Hey everybody, welcome back to the Black Sheep Requiem. Uh, it's been a minute, just got back from a six day trip out in the wilderness doing some photography and videography of wildlife. So I had a few more days left of my vacation, so I thought I'd better pump out some videos because it's been a while, so it's been probably over a month or so. So um, I'm gonna this time do a metal vinyl uh, update, uh, then I'm gonna do another vinyl update, um, then I'm gonna do uh, hardcore punk, a uh, vinyl update, then I'm going to do a CD update, and then I'm going to do a cassette update. So lots in store in the next few days. Uh, I'll probably wait a day or two between uh, to upload them, that kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, so try to get updated. I need to get this stuff categorized and put away and stuff. I got just too much stuff laying around. So uh, right now we're listening to Hexorcist, and this is Evil Reaping Death. And these guys are uh, Florida, uh, just thrashing death metal band, uh, badass stuff. So, yeah, check it out. All right, now let's get started with the vinyl. First off is a record that probably everybody has, everybody's checked out, everybody's shown. So, of course, everybody has to get this. And this is the Hooded Menace, new record, the Tritonius Bill, Gatefold. And I just got the black vinyl on this. Uh, it came out this year, of course, on Season of the Mist. Um, it's, of course, the hooded menace that we all love, but with more uh, traditional heavy metal influences, which I really like. I think it adds a whole new dimension to them. So, yep, hooded menace. All right. And the next thing I have for you guys is this. And this is Toxic Ruin. And this is Nightmare Eclipse, and this came out this year, 2021, on M Theory. And these guys are a killer, uh, kind of a death thrash band. Kind of a funky, kind of a mauve kind of looking color on that. Kind of cool. But yeah, like I said, great death thrash. Insert there, the guys, lyrics, of course. Yeah, so that's that one. And like I said, these are going to be all kind of short little synopsises of, for you guys just to kind of tell you what it is and show it. I just got too much stuff. I got probably, oh, I don't know, must be 50, 60 records here and of just metal. So, all right. And the next thing we have is... this and this is tribal days and this is God, godless voyage this came out this year 2021 on uh, desert wastelands just love that artwork of course um, and this is just furious texas death metal i mean i can't wait to hear more from these guys in the future it's just great stuff um the vinyl on this kind of a gray smoky look i guess you could say kind of cool but yeah, Texas death metal, man. Texas has been pumping it out the last few years, that's for sure. All right, now we have Insane. And this is Victims, and this is from this year, 2021. Um, this is on Dying, uh, Dying Victims Productions. Um, this is like super fast. Uh, raw angry angry thrash uh, reminds me a lot of uh, Hello Waits from Slayer like that vibe for sure but yeah check these guys out if you're into that for sure insane all right now we got Arduary I think that's how you pronounce it I hope so if not I'm sorry guys and this is a double LP, and let me see here. It does have lyrics, lyric sheet, all that typical stuff. And I got the white vinyl of this. Both discs are vinyl, or our vinyl, of course, white vinyl. And um, what you get with these guys is some super, uh, very compelling, progressive and even kind of jazzy at times, I would say, Canadian death metal. 
It's really cool stuff, but uh, it's great. Just check it out. If you're into that, I mean, very technical, but it has a lot of different stuff to it. Uh, not just your regular, just crazy riffs over and over. I mean, so if it sounds interesting, check it out. Oh, and that was on Artesian uh, era. I don't think I said that. So. All right, and next up we have this little beauty. And this is Ensnar, Snarl, sorry. And Disegnalum, I think is how you say that. I'm not sure, I think I probably fucked that up. But of course everybody, what happened to the 80s when we had easy band names, easy titles, <laughs> now it's all crazy stuff. But uh, that's the way it goes. And this came out in uh, 2017 on uh, Dark Descent. Um, this is like, uh, I would say it's, a, uh, they're from Sweden, so it's Swedish. Um, occult driven death metal is what I would say that is. Really good stuff though. Alright. And now I just got this uh, this week. And this is Expunged. And this is Into Never Shall. And this just came out, like I said, I got about a week ago, uh, the vinyl of this. Um, came out on Hell's Head Bangers. And this is just fucking crushing old school HM2 death metal. I mean, no qualms about it. That's what it is. Good stuff. All right. And next is another one that a lot of people talked about when it came out. With good reason, for sure. Everything these guys have been putting out has been badass. So, And that is the new Witch Vomit. The Horror rapture and this is a mini lp uh came out this year on a 20 buck spin and this i got the colored variant pretty cool and uh also comes with kind of a neat little booklet here really a booklet but it does have a poster a poster comes with it um, it has your lyric sheet all the guys but yeah it's really cool I was thinking it was a booklet but I forgot it's just a great big poster so but yeah cool stuff for sure like I said which bomb is everybody I mean everything they're doing is badass so can't go wrong with that and the next up, we have some black metal here for you guys. And this is Wolves in the Throne Room. And this is Primordial Arcadia. And this I got uh, just black metal for me. Kind of the insert here. And um, I was really happy with this record. They're kind of or how they've progressed and um, kind of last record or so kind of I was down on them a little bit I mean I still enjoyed it but not as much as some of the earlier stuff and this for me personally brings it kind of back to that um, this came out on relapse uh, this year by the way um, just fantastic like mystical black metal um, of course folk elements and a lot of really cool ambience to it too so yep we'll just in the throne room. Alright. Then we have this. And a lot of people I know have seen this. Great up and coming band. This is Slime Lord. And this is the Delta Death Sirens. And this came out 2019 on uh, Dry Cough Records. Um, this is a great debut EP from these guys. They're an English Death Doom outfit. Um, they're, they have a new record that came out just this year and it's even better and heavier and the whole work. It's fucking killer stuff, but definitely you want to check out a new band. This is definitely one Death Doom. Check it out, Slime Lord. And the vinyl on this is a color variant also. It's kind of a cool slime, kind of gives you the slime doom look, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, let's see what we got next here. 
also have a McManton, which a lot of people have been talking about this too. And we got a color variant with these guys too. And this came out this year on 20 bucks spin also, which of course 20 bucks spin the last few years has been knocking that out of the ballpark. But uh, with this, what you get is absolute incredible death metal, but it has like various touches of um, like black, death, speed metal even, uh, tech, melodic. Um, and it's to me, it's one of my top favorite albums so far this year. But yeah, definitely check them out. Killer record. And then the last one for this update, kind of give you guys 10, 12 records at a time, not to make these too long for you. And the last one is Lucifuge. And I mean, look at that cover. If that don't fucking say metal, I don't know what does. I love that cover. But uh, this is Infernal Power. And this came out this year, 2021, on uh, also Dying Victims Productions again, which they've been putting out some killer stuff also. But this is just evil black thrash from Germany. I mean, it's just killer stuff. But yeah, so that's that little round for you guys. So uh, like usual, stay extreme, and there'll be more updates very shortly. Thanks for watching.